Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me a... Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, call me. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you it's not true! Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen him. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it was going to kill him. The mayor. He cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. I hate this doctor. Let them drift away. What do we got here? Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the lengths these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Home of patience. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. <laughs> I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not crazy. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he name went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name. He walked into Bugs Prayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! I would have thrown like a bottle of Kill wine. Kill you, you son of a whore! Get me a goddamn doctor! <sighs> Probably a lot of damage. I hit a lot of things. Nice. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Oh, this piece of crap. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's 
It's making him stronger. And it's making me stronger, Helen. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> that was the weirdest smile both. ever. And what is that? In my case, Drew, he went through hell along with me. He still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, Jack Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on that case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. But He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some tires he's investigating. You look pale, Doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. This doctor killed him. I meet him. many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Part of their work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at that club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. But I'm gonna smash this over your head. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. <laughs> I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate, grisly end. What the crap? It's the fire guy. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. The next one. What the freak is going on here? This is just really messed up. It's gotta be one of these places. The arson, this is a bug sprayer. We must have worked at one of these joints. I'm gonna try nuclear bug and rodent control first, because that sounds awesome. <laughs> nuclear box. Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here, me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. It doesn't help me at all. Man, that was quick. I just asked the dude and then ditched. I don't even ask questions. Oh, 
help you? How many guys do you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, 